Welcome, lovelies. Uh, welcome to your 30 minute yin class for hips and hamstrings. We are going to go ahead and start off in uh, Shavasana. So feel free to lie down on your back, get nice and comfortable. Extend your legs long and let your toes roll out to whichever side they decide to flop to. And then just go ahead and lie all the way back. Maybe take your hands below your head. Just move your hair out of the way and gently relax the crown of the, the school back down onto the mat. Let your arms become long as well and roll your fingertips gently in naturally. Close your eyes and feel the length of your spine on your mat. Take a deep inhale through your nose, allow your tummy to rise. Full exhale as you sigh the breath out the mouth. Two more just like that. Inhale fully. Exhale empty. One more, inhale. Allow your body to expand, your belly to rise, the lungs to fill. Hold the breath. When you're ready, as you open your mouth, sigh it out and notice your body fully surrendering onto your mat. Let your bones just settle in a little bit deeper. Allow the breath to naturally flow in and out of the nose. Keeping your eyes closed, gently scan your body from the crown of the head, working all the way down to the tips of the toes, looking for any areas of tension in which you can relax a little bit further. Any areas that might be holding on or a gentle grip, See if you can relax into those spaces even more. Let go completely and fully surrender on your mat here and now. Even the breath starts to become soft and almost a disappearing quality to the in and the out. Our yin practice is one of the most important things that we can do to balance our busyness of our day. The doing, the lists, the checks, the agendas, the responsibilities, all of these things that we manage on a daily basis. Our yin becomes the balance that rest and digest to restore our body back to its homeostasis, back to its natural state of being. And so as you lie on your mat, I invite you to be fully aware of any wiggles and fidgets, any tickles, or even uncomfortable places Fully be present in what's going on physically within your body. And to the best of your ability, do what you can to find stillness in each and every pose. And further than just finding stillness, find the tension, that holding on and that gripping and melt it away. Three more breaths. How much can you let go? How far can you deepen your pose? How soft can you become? Awesome, let's start to wiggle fingers and toes. Stretch and squeeze into the feet and the hands. 
And then reach your arms overhead, take a full body on, extend your legs, squeeze your thighs together, and press the balls of your feet towards the long side of your mat. Inhale. And as you exhale, draw your right knee, interlace the hands below the shin, and gently guide the knee in the direction of the chest. Keeping a strong flex in your left foot, actively pulling that left thigh, back of the leg, down to the mat. We'll take a few breaths in an active stretch here. Just allowing the body to start to open. Feel the tummy pressing into the thigh. I'll take one more full inhale. Then exhale completely empty. Soften your ankles and your toes and let the legs move in the direction in which they feel natural to do so. And keeping the eyes closed is always an option and a really great way to just keep your awareness within the physical body. Oftentimes when the eyes are open, the mind starts to wander as we find and look towards external circumstances and external events. But if the eyes start to close, then it becomes a little bit more difficult for the mind to be busy and our focus becomes inward. And this is where true growth and true change starts to happen by observing our patterns that we have created from within. You're welcome to stay here with the stretch. If you want to move just a little bit deeper, just start to straighten and maybe grab hold of the back of that right leg. Maybe below the knee, never on the knee, maybe above, maybe we find the calf, Maybe we work our way towards the ankle, whatever your body's limit is. As long as we have shoulders becoming heavy on the mat, we don't want to find and pull. We don't want the head hovering. So wherever the hands are, soften the shoulders back down. And in a yin practice, slightly different than your typical vinyasa practice, we're looking for just before that first edge. So there's always a point of the body's first or furthest resistance. And we want to come right up against that first point. Never forcing past it, always leaning into it, allowing the body to soften in its own time. And what that does is it keeps our internal space, our heart, our breath patterns, it keeps us in that soft rest and digest. And this is where the healing happens. Let's take three more breaths wherever you are. Come back to that letting go of any place within the body. So scan the body from the tips of the toes all the way back up to the crown of the head. Beautiful. If your leg is extended, we're just going to slide the hands back down, come back into a bent knee here, and then we're going to open up into the right arm. I'm going to slide my pillow out of the way as I anticipate that for a little bit later. We're going to take that right knee and gently cross it over the body. Now your might, right knee might be hovered quite high, and that's all right. I'm going to use this pillow here just to rest the knee on top. As my left arm, sorry, my right arm reaches out, right shoulder melts down. And you can choose whatever space works good for your body. You can either take a gaze over your left shoulder, maybe head to center, or if you want that full effect of the twist, you can take a look up towards your right thumb. And 
just breathing softly. Relaxing all of the muscles, allowing the stretch to move past that initial muscle stage and into the tendons and the fascia, the connective tissue. Twists are amazingly healthy for the spine, as well as the vital organs, the digestive system, the lungs, even the stomach. Twists are incredibly healthy for your spine in that they keep the fluidity and mobility, which is incredibly important in our spine. Think of it as a freeway of information between brain and body. And the twists act like it's combing out and freeing any tension or built up debris, if you will, along the spine. Stiffness, stress, toxins, all of these things that come on quite naturally in our day, in our life, the world that we live in. Three more breaths. Beautiful. Go ahead and gently, gently. So in a yin practice, we always want to leave our transitions very slowly. As it does take some time to get deep into the body, we want to allow the body soft, gentle movements to get back out. So one nice little hug and squeeze in before we send the right leg all the way down. Make sure the spine is nice and square back onto the mat. Maybe wiggle your hips around a little bit. Shoulder blades shimmy under. Let's take a full body on. Inhale, reach the fingers and toes in all directions. Open mouth, exhale, soften, let it go. Let's bring the left knee in. Release the hands around the knee. We'll take a first few breaths in this stretch. It's a very active stretch. So we're really pressing that right foot forward, peeling the toes back, squeezing the back of the leg down towards the floor, and then actively pulling left knee in towards your chest, allowing the fullness of the tummy as you breathe in, press against the thigh. Then exhale, drawing the navel down towards the spine, a gentle lift at the bottom of the exhale. Three more active breaths, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, soften everything, allow the body to naturally relax into the shape. So holding stretches for a matter of minutes is incredibly healthy, not only for the muscles and the skin and the immediate, but it also brings back a lot of elasticity in the joints and the tendons, the fascia, creates a chemical in our body called hyaluronic acid. And what that chemical does is it produces uh, elasticity and it it is solely responsible for the youthfulness within our body. So as we're lying here on our mat, the gentle stretch, we're actually getting younger. We're promoting a youthful quality in the body. 
And taking it even further, one more step is allowing the mind that single point of focus. A meditation of sorts allows the mind to become younger as well. Studies have shown that meditation decreases gray matter in a standard aging brain and also shrinks the size of holes that we get as we get older and the brain gets slower and brain fog and all those other things. So stillness, focus, meditation, these are all amazingly powerful tools that we have to keep our body young and healthy, very vital. Either staying here or if you took the other side, straightening into that left leg and then just interlacing the hands, coming into relaxing hamstring stretch here. I know those are very funny words putting together, relaxing and hamstring stretch, but do what you can. The moment this hamstring stretch gets intense, our body's actually holding on and we're doing the opposite of which we want it to do. So find that first edge just before intense. Stay there and breathe. Relax and let go of any areas that might be wanting to help but aren't. For example, the jaw, the shoulders, the right quadricep. And the body likes to help itself, each other out. But oftentimes, rather than relaxing and removing tension, we're just moving it from one place to another. So notice where that goes within your body. We're all different. We all hold it in different places. It's a really good practice to scan the body with the mind as often as you can, even in a yin practice, but even in everyday life. Being fully present in what you're touching, how you're moving, the posture that you're standing in. These are really great habits that don't take any time at all and are so, so powerful in creating mindfulness. And mindfulness creates happiness. We all want happiness. Three more breaths in whatever shape that you've made. Beautiful. Softly, softly release that leg, bend the knee, come back to a gentle knee to chest stretch. I'm going to take my pillow and bring it onto the other side so that when I drop that left knee across my body, it has somewhere to rest. Now, you don't need a pillow, but mindful if the knee is bouncing or hovering off of the floor, we want to support it. Because if it's hovering off the floor, what that means is something somewhere is holding on and keeping it. So if we can support the knee gently, we can relax the body completely. And then your version of the twist, if you want to gaze up to the left thumb, ceiling or over the right shoulder, whichever space you would like, whatever feels right for your body and know that each side is different. One side typically is more accessible than the other, more comfortable, more available to you. And so rather than forcing into same shapes on either side, I invite you to relax into same sensations. even if one side isn't as deep as the other or as you would like it even. Relax fully until you have the same sensation between each side.
says here, first yin practice, it is a practice that some find very difficult. The stillness can be boring. It can be frustrating. It can be quite relaxing and almost to the point of falling asleep. And know that all of these sensations and emotions are completely normal and part of the process. If you find this practice incredibly difficult, if you're bored or frustrated or even sensations or thoughts of anger, I invite you to do what you can to breathe more full and complete and settle and soften even more. Allow whatever thoughts are coming up for you to move through your mind gently like the clouds in the sky without attachment, without getting stuck in a particular story, just observing the shapes that they're making, the stories that they're telling as they move across your vision of your sky in your mind. Go ahead and take three more breaths together on this twist here. Like all things, stillness is a practice. The more we do it, the better we become. And the benefits, the outcomes of stillness are far outweigh the difficulty of the practice. One more full inhale, complete exhale, and let it go. Now we bring the head to center, and then remembering to move very slowly, coming all the way back to center. Square the hips back onto the mat and let's take one more full body on, extend the arms and legs in all directions. And then as you exhale, pull the lower back back down, relax the elbows. Hug both knees into the chest. We're gonna roll onto whichever side you would like just to transition all the way up to the seat. Beautiful, we'll take one more stretch together here in our yin for hips and hamstrings, and we'll take a nice forward fold. So um, there's a couple of options here. If you do have tight hamstrings and happen to have a blanket, this one's quite big, but if you have a blanket, um, roll it under the knees. You can also sit your hips up on a block, or you can sit your hips up on a pillow or a blanket as well. And then from here, more blankets, more pillows, ground the spine and relax your forehead, support your head onto something. Even if you need to stack a few. <laughs> Even if you need to stack a few things up or maybe you make fists with your hands, make sure your head is fully supported and you can come forward or you can come straight down, which is a little bit more into the spine. The forward you go on your legs, the more into your hamstrings, as you will quickly learn. Come to that very first edge, never forcing. We're gonna be here for about four minutes, so there is a lot of time being spent in the shape. Relax your shoulders and the skin on the back of the neck. Relax your toes and everything in between. Allowing the breath to soften the body and maybe move deeper into the pose.
Allow the breath to stay full and your awareness to stay within. Forward folds can bring up some fun, interesting things. Allow them to breathe their way through. Know that at this time you are on your mat. You've set it aside, you've carved it out. Stay with the rest of the practice, the time that you have committed to yourself, your health. Every exhale, just letting go a little bit more. Let's take five more breaths here together. Breathe into sensations. Soften where you can. Now we really wanna be sure that we're moving slow out of this one. So as slow as you possibly can. And if you think you are going slow enough, go slower. We're gonna walk the hands below the shoulders using only the strength of the arms to press the hands into the floor and gently keep the chin tucked. Unravel the spine one vertebrae at a time using the arms to straighten. Coming all the way up. We'll take our last and final pose together. If you have blocks, I encourage you to use them or um, a whole bunch of pillows and throw pillows are really great for a yin practice. So our bedtime pillows. So we're going to take the one pillow and make it long, placing the end right up next to the hips, and then we're going to recline all the way back onto it. Let your head rest onto the pillow as well. And then I'm going to bring the knees in, soles of the feet are going to come together, let the knees flop out to the side. Use the blocks under the backs of the legs to fully support. So you can see without the blocks, my knees are very high. And I just want to slide the block in enough so that I can feel it, but not really, it's not taking a lot of weight. And I'm going to roll the palms open. And once again, close my eyes and just drop into the shape. Relax the body 100%. Allow the eyeballs to find the back of the skull. Relax the eyebrows. Smooth the wrinkles on your forehead. Relax the earlobes, the temples. Unhinge your jaw. Relax the tongue away from the palate. And separate your teeth. Feel the cheekbones, the cheeks fully relax. Feel the weight to the shoulders, spreading the collarbones, stretching and opening into the heart.
Feel the chest rise with your inhale, shining your heart bright. And allow your exhale to smooth out any remaining areas of tension within the entire physical body. Let your breath surrender your body to gravity, to shapes, to sensations. And let your breath present your mind into the present moment. Even if it's just for a moment, keep coming back time and time again. And allow that to be little victories of mindfulness, of presence within your life. Let's take five more full breaths here together. When you're ready, slowly starting to take the thumb across the tips of the fingers. Allow the breath to fill the belly, deepening in the waking body from within. Taking the hands behind the legs, gently drawing the knees together. And we'll remove the block or pillow from the one side, doesn't matter whichever side you are comfortable with and then gently rolling onto that side. Using the top arm, just to gently brace yourself onto the floor, maybe using your bottom arm as a pillow or resting your head fully onto your mat. When you're ready, pressing into the top hand, bringing yourself all the way back up to your seat. Crossing the legs. Just taking a moment, bringing the hands to heart center, closing your eyes, and just finding gratitude for your physical body, for the breath, for the beat of your heart. Let a smile gently curl the corners of the lips, the corners of the eyes. As you move about your day with love and compassion, with gratitude and with beautiful open hearts. Namaste.